Welcome back to the channel guys. I just want to thank you guys who are actually watching the videos. It's not many, but thank you guys for watching them. We're going to uh, get a sense of normalcy back in our lives. We're gonna say goodbye to the old Jeep Wrangler and we're gonna go pick up our Durango right now. I'm gonna take you guys along, see how the uh, collision center did with the bodywork and paint on the Durango. But can you guys check this out real quick? This is crazy weather. We are not used to this in September in California. It is raining, but whatever, I'm down. We could use it. So we're gonna jump in the Wrangler, have to say goodbye to it today. One thing I want to ask you guys is, is it just me or are Wranglers one of the most female vehicles out there? Like, whenever I get in this thing, feel like a female. When I watch my wife drive away, going to work, I always say, she looks good in that. But me, I get in and I feel extremely feminine. I don't know why. It might be a little more feminine than a Scion TC. Let me know. Gonna jump in here, drive this thing back, return it to the rental car place, pick up our Durango, see uh, how it goes. We are here at the fuel station because I forgot we need to fuel this Wrangler up before we return it to the rental car place. And I forgot how cheap it is to fill a four cylinder. Oh my gosh, because the Durango is a V8, the Cummins is a diesel, so I forgot. It only costed us around 40 bucks to fill this thing up and we had less than a quarter tank. Wow. Woo! Reunited and it feels so good. All right, everything looks back to normal. Looks like new. They did have to replace a couple parts and I will go over that with you when we get home. Uh, they're kind of having a lot of uh, cars coming in and out right now in rental cars and stuff because the rental car place is at the same place as the collision center. But, oh, nothing like a Hemi. I seem to have forgot one of the most important things to check and uh, that seems to be the gas pedal. I forgot to check to see if that still works. Hold on. Let me see if that still works. Oh, hit the eco off, sport on. Let's see if this gas pedal still works. Yeah, still works. All right, we're good. All right, just got back. Let's see here. Good as new. Here we go. All right. So it might be a little dirty from the road grime and stuff from all the rain that we've recently had. But they did have to replace this whole tail light. They repainted the... Well actually they took that dent out. They took the dent out that was right here. And they had to repaint the trunk. They had to replace these two sensors. And they did some body work on the upper half of the bumper and then on the lower half so this bumper is a two-piece bumper and they had to replace the lower half of the bumper but other than that replace it paint it match the paint they had to replace this thing too the hitch cover but everything came out all good everything lines up perfect again they were able to get that to line up again I knew that was one of the issues and I'm glad I found that before I dropped it off because yeah, that was way off. I took it to Certified Collision Centers in Manteca, and that place has worked on a couple of vehicles of mine. They also do just regular body work and paint and stuff like that. So if you have something that you just wanna, if you wanna get a car repainted or um, a portion of your car repainted or some body work needs to be done or something like that and, you, and it's not an accident, I have taken my vehicles there in the past, not due to like accident uh, related issues turned out to do a pretty good job so I'm cool with that happy to have the Durango back can put the car seats back in it can load the kids up can load it down with all the groceries it's just a great feeling to have your own car back and not have to have a rental we'll see what's in store for this thing until then take it easy <laughs> 